Few events can attract a crowd of this magnitude to the Elk Grove Regional Park. And even fewer events take place in the duck pond. And no events that I can think of require a forklift and a giant pumpkin. Only the brave will get in the pumpkin and float across that water and back. Oh! This is the annual Elk Grove Giant Pumpkin Regatta. About 50% of the crew finish. So that means you guys got to fish about 50% of these pumpkins out of the water? Yep. The regatta is a relatively new part of the Elk Grove Pumpkin Festival, a multi-day event celebrating everything pumpkin. Yeah, more or less. Preparing the floating gourds for this event is no easy task. Veteran pumpkin paddler Robert Cook tells me judges must weigh the pumpkins before modifications can take place. It's like you're, it's like you're building the pumpkin boat as you're about to race it. Right. Carving out the pumpkin's innards is kind of an art, says regatta judge Brian Myers. A little lopsided here or too heavy over there, and the pumpkin capsizes. What are the rules to a pumpkin regatta here? Well, you have to start in your pumpkin, you have to finish in your pumpkin, which is a major task. Other than that, the rules are pretty simple. Competitors must paddle the length of a football field and pick up a flag at the dock and then paddle back. It was a battle to the finish on this race with many casualties, but in the end, seven-time pumpkin regatta winner Robert Cook finished first. And in honor of the race, the winning pumpkins or dropped from a forklift for some reason. From the Giant Pumpkin Festival in Elk Grove, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.